railings are located in the Architecture tab. You have two options to create a railing. Sketch on Path is used to simply draw the boundary of the railing. Draw purple boundary lines and click the green check to complete. Second option is called Place on Host. It lets you select an element like a stair to set your railing to. To create the railing, simply click on the host. The railing will automatically adjust to the stair slope. Three railings creation tips. Tip number one, adjust offset from path. When selecting a railing, you will find the offset tool in the properties. Adjust the value to move the railing location among the stair. A negative value will push the railing to the exterior side of the stair. Tip number two, activate railing preview. Check the preview box in the modify tab. A preview of the railing will be visible once you start drawing boundary lines. Using this feature in a 3D view is an efficient way of creating railings. Tip number three, host railings to slope walls and floors. When creating a railing, click on pick new host in the modify tab. Then select a wall or a floor to host your railing. The railing will have the same slope as the selected elements. As you see, the railing automatically adjusts when the angle of the wall is changed. Let's learn all important parts of a railing. The top rail. The handrail. The intermediate rail. The extension of a rail. The support holding the handrail. The balusters, which are vertical elements. And the post, which are vertical elements at the end of a railing. Now, time to create a railing type. The first step is to create a handrail and a top rail type. Activate the top rail, then click to change the type. Set a profile to be used. In this case, we use circular 30 mm. Then, set the extensions. You can set a different extension at the beginning and end of the railing. There is three different types of extension. The first one is wall. Select it and set an extension distance. Then try the floor extension type. As you see, the top rail goes all the way down to the floor. Finally, try the post extension style. It creates a C-shaped extension. Now, time to add a handrail in the railing type. Select left or right placement. The handrail now appears in the view. We must now adjust the supports of the handrail. Select a support family, then pick a spacing in a layout. Final step is to adjust the height of our rails. Go to the handrail type and select the height. Also set the hand clearance which is the distance between the baluster end and the center of the handrail. Also set the height for the top rail. Now that we have created the handrail and the top rail, time to add an intermediate rail. Go to Railing Type, then click Rail Structure. Click Insert New Rail and give a name to the rail. Then set a 2D profile family. Adjust the height and the offset. The height can never be above the top rail. Finally, add a material to the rail, if you wish. We now have to adjust the vertical elements, also known as balusters. Click Edit Type, then Edit the baluster placement. Pick a baluster family to be used. Then set the base and top constraints of all balusters. In this case, we pick our new intermediate rail as the base and the top rail as the top constraint. To adjust the distance between each baluster, go to baluster placement and change the value for distance from previous. Adjust the baluster's justification. This is how the balusters will adjust to the railing length. By default, we have spread pattern to fit option. Try changing it to the center option. You can also pick the beginning or end justification type. Finally, select the pose to be used. These are special balusters type that only appears at the beginning and end of the railing. 
they can also be activated for corners. Posts are created the same way as regular balusters. Five railing tips. Tip number one, show preview in railing type. Click the preview button inside the railing type to see a 3D view of it. Tip number two, use project browser to find all railing parts. The project browser is very helpful to find all railing parts. In the railing sub menu, you will find all handrail, baluster, support, stop rail and railings. Tip number three, adjust top rail transition. Select the transition style for top rail and handrails. Go to edit type and edit the top rail. First option is none, which will split the rail. Second option is gooseneck. Finally, the most used option is called simple. Tip number four, use tab to select specific railing parts. If you click on a railing, the whole thing will be selected. But by using tab, you can cycle through different parts of the railing to individually select and modify them. Top rails, handrails and supports can be selected this way. Tip number five, adjust supports position. Use tab to select a support, click on unpin, then use the move command to adjust the support position. Three advanced railing tips. Tip number one, create glazed railings with glazed balusters. In the baluster placement menu, remove all existing balusters, then pick a glazed baluster family. Adjust the distance from previous to fit the type length. The problem with this technique is that the length of the glazing doesn't adjust to the railing length. Tip number two, create glazed railings with curtain walls. This technique is the best to create glazed railings. Use a curtain wall with maximum spacing vertical separations. Then add a railing containing only a handrail. Make sure the handrail type fits with the curtain wall railing. Tip number three, create fancy extension shapes. Remember when we created top rail extensions, you were limited to three shapes. You can customize these shapes to whatever you want by selecting the top rail and clicking edit rail. Then click on edit path. Remove purple lines then draw whatever you want as a profile. Click the green check to complete. If you like this video, make sure to check the complete Revit Pure's basics package. It contains an ebook, a complete video tutorial series, an exercise project, and a basic Revit template. Download the complete package at revitpure.com/basics.